Election day is Tuesday, November 5th. We're sitting down with Greenwich's candidates for Board of Selectmen and the Board of Education and asking them about the important issues and goals if elected. I still think that I still have um, something to offer Greenwich and something to, to uh, um, offer in the sense it might be a difference of opinion at times, it might be a different perspective at times. Uh, I have the, the physical time to do the job and there are some issues uh, and certain projects that I would like to see personally concluded. You know, I, because of what I do for a living, you know, when I, you know, I, I am physically in people's homes, so I uh, see people on a daily basis and I interact with people and I've said this before too, I've seen people at their very best and I've seen people at their very worst in terms of emergencies. Um, and we, we, we do get out. We try to. One of the things I do want to do, if, if re-elected, um, when we vote on specific, uh, specific issues related to traffic or road closures or um, uh, stuff related to, to roads or infrastructure, I want to get out there more and actually see what we're voting on. I think that helps when you're making the decision because there's one thing to read about it. We get stacks of paper about certain road closures in town and look, and you're thinking, oh, it's a road closure. What's the big deal? But it's, uh, I'm going to try to make an effort uh, to, to get physically out there and see the site more. You know, when you have boards that are, uh, that, that, are, that are respectful of one another, it's good. This whole notion that just because you get along with somebody or um, on the other side or you, you somehow have a great relationship, you're somehow weak. No, I can say just the opposite. I am in the minority party, but we're a strong minority in, in, in Greenwich. The Democratic Party is very strong with a very strong voice in Greenwich. 99% of the time we make our decisions based on qualifications or commitment or dedication or energy level or whatever. Now, I'd be lying to say though, does a, does a Republican or Democrat think differently when it comes to housing issues in town? When it comes to social service issues in town? For the most part, no on the local level, but there are differences of opinion uh, how one thinks of affordable uh, non-market rate housing in town social service issues in town. So it, 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 is, it, it is Republican Democrat in that sense a bit, but it really is how that person feels. And um, we will have a long and hard debate and a welcoming debate on this. Because look, there's only a finite way of doing things in town. You could raise the mill rate, raise taxes, you could borrow longer term, or you could cut services. And every time, and I keep saying to people, you know, we're spending, spending, spending. And I keep saying, okay, I get the argument, but what do you want to cut? And then there's no answer. It is unacceptable to have kids in a classroom with uh, two or three teachers teaching in one room. That is unacceptable in Greenwich, Connecticut. It's unacceptable anywhere, in my opinion, uh, especially in Greenwich, Connecticut. And the Board of Selectmen um, has... Uh, a role when it comes to capital, meaning it's important that whatever is done with the building, whether or not we you know, take it down, whether or not we build up, whether or not we whatever, we have to have the various entities um, involved. The, the Board of Estimate, the BET has to weigh in now, the, the first selectmen and the selectmen have to weigh in, the RTM and also the land use committees have to weigh in now about options now because we can spend a lot of money on studies, we can spend a lot of money on you know, a lot of time talking about whatever, but if you don't get the four um, uh, branches of government involved and support a possible redo or a possible new building now, this will be caught up months and months and months of, of, of talking. So the Board of Education has to work right now with the other entities. I, I think it's imperative that the state actually physically come into Greenwich, take a tour of Greenwich, um, and see how geographically it is very large, um, you know, to see, to point out the neighborhood schools in town, and then the concentration has to be on, you know, academic achievement and why certain percentage of kids are performing under than others. And that's also unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Um, 
but that you know that that part of it, that equation part, is more of a board of education slash superintendent issue. When a 15-year-old does take his life in such a violent way, something or someone failed him. And I meant, I, was, I did not necessarily mean the schools failed him, necessarily. Uh, however, the, the issue of bullying uh, goes well beyond the scope of the Board of Education. Um, the issue of bullying is a town-wide problem. It is a country-wide problem. And, it, it, and it's an issue that has to be combated from a multifaceted approach. It starts with family, it starts with school, it starts with the town, it starts with uh, uh, you know, various organizations where you live. But you know, I am committed, independent of whether or not I'm elected on November 5th, to see to it that when the investigation is complete, to see to it that people are held responsible if that's the case or we could somehow have done it better